Tell me about your new wellness platform. What inspired you to go in this direction? Well, I have been a health nut uh, pretty much my whole life. Growing up in Chicago in the suburbs, I was not a health nut. I was a diet nut. Name a diet, Scarsdale diet, honey loan vinegar, did everything with my mom. I was either on or off a diet. And then I realized when I moved to New York and I was working in the fashion industry, no amount of starvation was going to have me look like a supermodel. And on and off a diet is dumb. So I started to realize I feel better when I don't eat bread. I feel better when I don't eat cookies and sugar. So I started slowly transitioning. And then when I had my own company, I started teaching all the women, not just about where to put the eyeliner or where to put the blush, but if you, if you look good, if, you're, if your skin looks good, then your makeup's gonna look so much better, it's gonna be easier. So I've always kind of given back in that field and then my ninth book is I, you know, is Beauty from the Inside Out, which is a book about what you put in your body, affects your skin way more than any cream you're going to buy out there. Creams are not going to make you look healthy. And when I left Bobby Brown Cosmetics, one of the first things I did is sign up to go to school to get my degree as a health coach from Institute of Integrative Nutrition. I've been hooked on it ever since. That's fantastic. Well, as you know, your intestines are actually your skin turned inside out. And uh, everything that happens on the wall of your gut is actually reflected on your skin. And you're right. So beauty comes from within, and it's what you uh, put in the, your system that actually will be reflected uh, out on your skin. Uh, so and for someone like me who, yes, I have very good skin, I've had digestive issues my whole life. I have never been able to figure out exactly what to do. And it's another reason why I'm so excited to be part of you know, the wellness industry, because I'm always searching for ways to feel better. So is that why you decided to have a line of supplements? Was that just a natural progression of what you'd learned? It was Definitely, definitely. I'm not, you know, I don't, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I'm a beauty expert. And now I'm a health coach and a health fanatic. So my line is not things that are going to change your health. They're going to help your lifestyle. So you will look and feel better. So there is a, a great probiotic. It melts on your skin like a pixie stick on your tongue. I'm sorry, like a pixie stick. I don't know. I'll try it on the skin. Um, so there's very simple things like that. There's a product called Debloat, which is any woman in the world would say, what is that? And it just helps. It's all natural herbs that help you get rid of some of the water so you don't feel it because we all suffer, you know, from certain things sometimes. Yeah, well, you know, I for years and years uh, did not uh, make a supplement line. I would tell people to go to Costco or Trader Joe's or, or Amazon because I as a scientist and a researcher wanted to find out what would happen to people's blood work or how they felt when they were taking a particular supplement. And it got to the point where so many people said, well, you know, I'm running around to 12 stores and picking this stuff up and, you know, I've got four suitcases full of supplements that, you know, are lining my shelves. Can't you come up with something that, you know, you're, you know, you've done this for 20 years now, you know what works, you know what doesn't. And that's actually what finally prompted me to come out with my own brand of supplements. And that drink tastes so good. I, 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 I drink that at home. It tastes so good. Oh, thank you for that shameless plug. I appreciate it. Uh, no, but if you don't, but I, you could buy things and if they don't taste good, you're never, you're not going to use them. If they taste good, you're going to, you're going to want to drink them. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. That's uh, the, the amount of effort and actually most of our, our powders to, to get the taste right is, uh, is a team sport. And I can't tell you the number of tastings we go through to, to get it right. All right, so what are some of the biggest pitfalls that prevent people from looking their best? Well, I think people that don't drink enough water, that are not hydrated, their skin's not going to look great. They're not going to feel great. They're not going to have the energy to exercise. And that's the second one. If you don't, if you exercise, you're going to look better. 
it really does make the biggest difference. And also the next thing is what your skin looks like and eating healthy, you know, food is number one, but also keeping a hydrated skin. Now it's not a cream that you go buy that's going to change your skin. I don't care if you use olive oil. I don't care if you use coconut oil. I don't care whatever cream you use. And I, I happen to like my skincare, you know, clean these days, my makeup and my skincare that I'm using are all clean. I'm truthfully not using anything from the brand, you know, since I left the company, I'm doing much, many more things that are clean. And that's, you know, I think the biggest, you know, trend out there right now. And it's a good one. Yeah, I think that's amazing. I mean, you, it, here you are, you've, you know, you built this amazing brand. You, you've kind of left this brand. You don't even use your brand. And that's the same with me, you know, I, I, I built an amazing surgical career, was very famous for things I invented. And, you know, and now they call me no more Mr. Knife Guy. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, I see so many parallels uh, between our two careers. It's, uh, yeah, I don't operate on people. I, you know, unfortunately, I teach them how to avoid me. Which is unbelievable. What a platform that is. I wish more doctors out there would realize you know, give someone, you know, a $50 gift certificate to go buy, you know, some vegetables at the store instead of, you know, some pills. So no, you're right. I'm yeah, I, I actually write prescriptions for my patients to go get a dog. And yeah, exactly. so many of them actually come back later with that prescription wow. framed and say, you know, that that was the best prescription any doctor has ever given me. Right, because then you've got to walk the dog and you're getting exercise. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. And the dog, like I write about in The Longevity Paradox, brings a whole new microbiome to you that the dog has picked up walking in the dirt and the mud and sniffing things. And that dog licks your face and it actually gives you more diversity in your microbiome. So who knew? Wow. Okay. So is that one of your big things is the microbiome and helping people get you are, yeah, you are only as young as your microbiome. And the microbiome will keep people young. If you look at 105 year old people around the world, they all actually have the same microbiome. And that microbiome is as diverse as, as many species as a healthy 30 year old person. And that's actually the microbiome, it, we're the home for the microbiome. I'd say we're just a condominium for bugs. And that microbiome, if you give them the things they need to survive and fl flourish, they'll keep their home in tip top condition. So you're right. I think, you know, beauty from within is actually more and more uh, beauty feeding the microbiome. And that's, right. that's my big push now. Well, you need to give us a cheat sheet because all the things you're not supposed to eat because it's got, you know, the wrong lectins and that it's like, I needed to make it simple. I, I'm going to buy your new book and I'm going to literally take a yellow pen and make my own cheat sheet. All right. And then I'll come on your podcast and I'll give you the super cheat Please. sheet. How's that? Good. I'll take it. Bobby, uh, you and I both, I think, agree that clean products and clean beauty is incredibly important because, you know, I talk about the seven deadly disruptors. So can you define what do you mean by clean beauty products? Well, clean beauty products are really products that don't have, you know, these additives and chemicals. And there are so many on the don't use list. There is a, a great chain of uh, beauty stores called Credo that has a list on their website that'll tell you exactly the ones, the ingredients that you should not be putting on your face. So I live by that. All my cleaning supplies in my house, my shampoos, my moisturizers, they're all clean. And I, I cannot tell you the difference. It, my house smells better and I just, it just feels so much better. Yeah, the you know these most of these products have such you know incredible estrogen disruptors that it's actually really scary. And you know recently there was a study showing that a lot of the ingredients in sunscreens, which are 
problematic are absorbed through our skin and can right. be detected in our blood and that is really scary so it is yeah and i agree people have got to really concentrate on this because our skin is an absorptive surface and boy the stuff we're putting on it is scary so good for you yeah and we have to keep making sure that companies know this and you know hopefully that everyone will change yeah and i think that you know the informed consumer like you and i are are trying our darndest will demand changes as long as they know why they need to demand this and it's not going to ha happen from the top up it's all no. got to come from below definitely yeah. more amazing episodes just like this one watch now intermittent fasting studies show that there are incredible benefits to time-restricted eating versus a 12-hour eating window.